welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Greenbrier State Park was established in 1963 and is located near the town of Boonesboro in Washington County, Maryland. When you enter Greenbrier State Park, stop in at the Visitor Center for valuable information about the park and any planned activities for the day. You can also pick up maps of the park as well as maps detailing hiking and biking trails. There is a dump station located next to the entrance of the campground. The campground has 165 sites, each with a picnic table and fire ring. Only 40 sites have electric hookups, and no sites have sewer. When making reservations, look at the Cedar Loop. That's where all 40 electric hookup sites are located. There is a store and firewood available for campers. Potable water is available throughout the campground. Many sites are pet friendly and some are ADA accessible. Please check their website for details. Inside the campground, there is an amphitheater and playground. You also have access to the state park. Whether camping here or just stopping by for an afternoon, you'll find all you need in the day use area. There are plenty of picnic tables and grills, a nice sized playground for the little kids, and a 42 acre man-made lake. There are also restrooms available here. In this building is the concession stand. During the summer months, you can get drinks and snacks here. This building has the first aid station, but hopefully you won't need that. There are four of these adorable gazebos facing the lake, which are available for rent. In the lake, you can enjoy kayaking, canoeing, and fishing. The lake is stocked yearly with trout, bass, and bluegill. While you're here, try some bird watching, or just be on the lookout for turtles and frogs. You'll find a volleyball court here as well as a very popular beach. The beach is open from May through September. Here you can rent canoes for a nice trip out on the lake.
There are 10 trails here at Greenbrier State Park ranging from easy to difficult skill level and most trails are mountain bike accessible. Well let's take the bike here around the lake on the trail and then afterwards we'll go do a covered bridge tour over a nearby Frederick County, so stay tuned. The Roddy Road Covered Bridge was built in 1856 and is the smallest of the three bridges, measuring just 40 feet long. There's a nice park here, open year-round for fishing or picnicking. Under the bridge flows Owens Creek. The bridge had extensive damage in 2016 caused by an oversized truck. What stands now is a replica. bridge at Loy's Station was built in 1880, with some repairs and timber replacements throughout the years. It is 90 feet long and also crosses Owens Creek. The park next to it has picnic tables, horseshoe pits, and a playground.
Another nice feature of this park is this raised walking path. As you are doing this cover bridge tour, you will pass through some really nice farm landscapes. The Utica Mills Bridge is the longest of the three bridges, spanning 110 feet. The original bridge was built in 1850, but was washed away in a severe storm in 1889. Locals gathered the parts of the bridge that they could find and reconstructed the bridge now standing today, crossing Fishing Creek. Thanks everyone for joining us today, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Take care everyone, and happy camping.